Enzo here from Enzo's Geckos. Today I wanted to show you what it's like uh, when I go through packing up a gecko for shipping. So this is one I have right here. Uh, he got bought, I think on Saturday it was. Um, so he's going to go uh, down to San Jose. Thankfully shipping is not that expensive because uh, we do live really close to San Jose. Um, but this guy right here, what I do is I get him and the first thing I do is weigh him. So um, just put him on the scale to see what he's at. Make sure it's zeroed out. All right, so he's 33 grams. So I get the lid. Right here, I have his information. I include what he is. So he's a Tremper albino head eclipse. So I write that here. Male, that's his hatch date. And then I like to write the, uh, the weight uh, when he was last weighed, which is today. So he is 33 grams. So I put 33 grams right there. And it's good weather, so I don't need to put any kind of heating or cooling. So he might be shedding soon. So I like to drop them off at the post office, uh, at the FedEx, right around uh, 3, 4, 5 o'clock, just so it's minimal time shipping. Um, I did used to ship in the morning. I shipped a couple of geckos in the morning, and then I realized they're in transit for about 24 hours. So that's a little bit too much. So then what I do is I get the uh, Reptiles to shipping box. And right here, you got it whole box. I just put them in here and then usually uh, get some paper towels. So I'll be right back with that in a minute. Okay, now that I've got the paper, I just use normal newspaper. I kind of stuff it on the sides so I make sure just in case people aren't super um, careful with it, which they should be because the box does say careful live animal. See, it's still in there. Just go and see. So, put them in. So that's pretty good. It's just about full. So now we put this on top. So it's all down. Usually I add a little bit more tape to the sides, but just for the video purposes, I'm only having one right here. So then there it is, the reptile's all in there. Then I have the shipping label. Um, this is my uh, client. So then I just kind of peel the back off, stick it on here, make sure it's like this, so the person can, um, so that the people at FedEx can see it well enough. And then I just bring it over there and they ship it. So then it'll arrive by 10:30 a.m. the next morning when I'm shipping on the east, uh, on the west coast. And then usually uh, before 4:30 p.m. on the East Coast in special in uh, certain areas. But anyway, that's how I package my geckos. This is what I go through when I ship them out. And now you can see that I like to keep my animals at a um, a good weight. I don't like to ship them when they're really young. So he's 33 grams going out right now. I don't like to ship really under 20 grams. I know a lot of breeders prefer 15 grams um, for their animals, but I think it's best to have them as old as possible before shipping them out. Because a lot of people have um, a problem with getting rid of animals too late in the season. So this one, you know, he's about three months old, almost four months, but I have no problem holding on to him for that time as long as he can be healthy and, um, you know, grow as much as he could. So thanks for watching, guys. I really hope you uh, enjoyed this video and learned something from it. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.